It was the year 2022. Disney, for some reason, decided to remaster the 1995 video game Gargoyles. Fans were excited. Even I was excited because I loved the show and always wanted to play the game. I was going to purchase a digital copy until I came across a website called Limited Run Games that features a really cool box set that I couldn't resist, only to find out that I had to wait six freaking months. Now in 2024, it has arrived. And it's time to play. Hey guys, Naisha here. You know, just an average girl. And just like the intro, I did order the Gargoyles Remastered Limited Edition that Limited Run Games came out with. And because just looking at the box set that they featured, I figured why not? The stuff that comes with it. Hey, for a collector like me, I would definitely invest in it. But again, that's just me. So. For this review, we're going to be unboxing it and showing you what it entails. Uh, after I remove the wrapping, I mean, look at this box. This box looks amazing. This is gorgeous. I love the artwork. I love what they've done. On the back, it's the same thing as the front. It gives you a little description of what they, um, what it contains, because once again, it is a collector's edition. You're not going to find it anyplace else. Once it's sold out, that's it. And so it comes with the physical game, a VHS clam case, you know, like the ones back in the day with uh, the Disney movies and, and whatnot. So it's, it's in there. Um, you also have the um, limited edition Goliath action figure. Now, for those of you who know, NECA is this uh, what company that has been making the action figures of our stone warriors. And I have to admit, they look pretty good. I've been meaning to get a Brooklyn figure because he's my favorite gargoyle. And after reading the comics, I'm so happy for him. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but I highly suggest that you read the comics. It comes with a reversible 18 by 24 poster and as well as an enamel pin. So, uh, oh, and steel box with a certificate of authenticity. So um, what I did was um, I went and this is for the PS4. They've had it for the Xbox. They have it for the Nintendo Switch. And if you still have your Sega Genesis, they actually have that for you as well. I, I, I was amazed and stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, let's go ahead and open it. Uh... Oh, Vel Velcro. Four thousand years ago, superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. It was a world of fear. <laughs> it was the age of gargoyles. It's Stone by day, warriors by night. We were betrayed by the humans we had sworn to protect. Frozen in stone by a magic spell for a thousand years. This is so cool. Now here in Manhattan, the spell is broken and we live again. We are defenders of the night. We are gargoyles. Okay, that's pretty cool. The fact that it actually plays the whole, you know, the, 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 the line that uh, Goliath, voiced by Keith David, um, played in the intro and, and all that stuff. That's pretty cool to have that box open and yet... I... I don't know if that's a good thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Keith David's voice. Oh, and, then, and the fact that I got to meet him was even, was even more awesome, but... Now that I think about it, if I keep opening this up, I'm worried that I'm going to be, he's going to be talking uh, quite a lot, won't he? I don't know if I made the right decision about this. Maybe we should start with the action figure first. Let, 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 let's start with the action figure. Okay, so I took out the action figure and I have to admit, this looks 
phenomenal. The difference between this one and the NECA is that it is cell shaded. But I mean, just look at the details on Goliath. He looks amazing. It looks like it's a, a spitting image of the show itself. So it comes with two different faces. It comes with his relaxed state. And it comes with his rage state. And again, just looking at, you know, the sculpt face of Goliath, they, it, it's just like the cartoon. It's like looking at the cartoon. And it also comes with um, also different uh, hands too. So if I don't want them opened up, I can have them closed, which is still just as awesome. Um, the only downside I have, however, is the wings. As much as I love the fact that they are spread open and out like that, you have it either raised up or you have it down. So that's the only downside. I mean, it looks like he's flying in this state, which is, you know, pretty cool. I would love it if, you know, he's able to fold his wings when he's relaxed or even when his wings are, you know, in a, just the plain original set. But other than that, I love the material that they used um, because it is very poseable. So that way it would be great for, um, and I've seen them do stop motion animation with these guys. So, and I believe that's the reason why they did it. So um, no, again, NECA, you did a phenomenal job with this. And to have, to have this and see this up close, because at first I was looking at it, I'm like, is it? I don't know. I was, I was, honestly, I wasn't sure. But just seeing this up close really, really amazes me. And like I said, I'm going to end up getting Brooklyn because Brooklyn's my man. He was always my favorite. And I mean, this, I love it. I really do. Thousand I just, years ago. I closed it. One thousand years ago. Superstition of the sword ruled. One thousand years okay. ago. Superstition of the sword ruled. One thousand years ago. I oh superstition. Ah, years no. ago, superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. Stone by day. Warriors by night. We were betrayed by the humans we had sworn to protect. Now here in Manhattan, the spell is broken, and we live again. We are defenders of the night. Be our gargoyles. Okay. This thing is very sensitive. So I've just found a con to this box set because no matter what I do, I'm going to set it off. So bear with me. Forgive me. I'm, I'm just going to take them all out. Let him do his spiel. And then we'll continue on with the review. Pardon me. The enamel pin. <gasps> I think we got it. I think we got it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, we, we, were, we, we, we managed to open it without it setting off. Um, let's just carefully, there we go, there we go, there we go. So as you can see, this is the game. Okay, this is the game, and uh, inside is the steel box, and inside is the physical copy of the gargoyles. But just like I said, um, just like those classic Disney um, movies like Alice in Wonderland and Aladdin, they came in these clamshell cases, and if you still have them, hold on to them. I don't know what their value are, but hey, they're collector's items. This is what we in my generation started off with. We didn't have DVDs or Blu-rays, we had this. So this makes it very nostalgic and very heartwarming for people like me. 
because even when the Gargoyles uh, show came out, their first five episodes became like a movie and they put it in a case just like this. So, like I said, it's very nostalgic. And I don't know if you noticed, but the enamel pin, this little buddy right here, is pretty much this right here. So I think that's pretty cool that, you know, for pin collectors, they just have an image of Goliath. And I guess this is probably a scene from the game, I don't know, but um, the enamel pin looks cool. And then you have the poster. Let's go ahead and see what this bad boy looks like. Oh, look at that! So one side, it looks like it's the pretty much the 16-bit classic game from the Sega Genesis uh, Super Nintendo era. And then on the other side, you have pretty much just the box set right here. So yeah, double-sided poster. Looks pretty cool, I like it. And then my certificate of authenticity from Limited Run Games. So it goes to show you that they purchased 575 versions of this game whether it was Super Nint whether it was Sega Genesis, PlayStation, Xbox, or um, the Nintendo Switch, out of that, I am number 78. So, for all of you who are the out of the 575, let me know what you think about your ver about your collector's edition. I I really enjoy this. I do. So. Um, it, it, you know, it makes you feel some kind of special way. <gasps> oh, look at that! Oh my goodness! It looks like a VHS tape! <gasps> that is so cool! I love it, I love it, I love it! I mean, it's... Oh! Oh, this is so cool! This is so cool! Oh my goodness! <sighs> oh! Oh my, oh, this is the steel, this is the steel case. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous picture of Goliath, people. And then on the back, you have the Eye of Odin. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Okay, and then you have the physical game itself. I mean, it's been a while since I've actually purchased a physical copy of any kind of game because now and then you could just download it. This, this, all of this, this is cool. This really, really is cool. For what it's worth, as an average collector, Limited Run Games has put together a really nice bundle. From the figure to the artwork, this is a beautiful collector's edition with one caveat. One thousand years ago. One thousand years ago. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and play this game, but I'm going to be playing it on my other channel. But you can find me playing this game. I will uh, post it on that channel right